Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And right now I'm joined by my first guest. He is a stained glass artist. His name is Dan Marr. Hello, Dan. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming down. Now, of course, we want to talk to you about how you become a stained glass artist. Well, I became a stained glass artist mostly by accident. Mm -hmm. I started doing it as a hobby in 1972 and was taking a year off before going to graduate school and answered an ad as a maintenance man and walked into this great old-time stained glass studio in Boston, the Conic Studio, mm -hmm. and I stayed there for two years, moved on to another studio for nine years. If someone goes around Boston, where can they see your work? Where, where are your windows now? Um, let's see. I've done some restoration work at Trinity Church in, in Boston. Mm -hmm. I did a, a window that's over the doorway of the, the old Exeter Street Theater at the corner of Exeter and Newbury Street. Um, I did uh, a window recently for the Harvard Lampoon Castle in Harvard Square, mm -hmm. uh, which is right on Mount Auburn Street, just outside of Harvard Square. It looks like a little castle. You, you've also done something for the Children's Hospital, correct? I did, but that's in a residence uh, uh, building. They uh, bought a house in Brookline and converted it for families to come live at mm -hmm. while their kids are in long-term care. Mm -hmm. But uh, I did a window for their kitchen nook that includes all sorts of imagery of fruits and vegetables and it's, it's made all of found glass objects. Mm -hmm. In other words, things that uh, you might find in the house like serving plates and bowls and uh, old medicine bottles and whatever sort of weird glass objects I can find that are non-traditional stained glass materials mm -hmm. that have interesting images in it. So that's this whole other style of window. Right, that, you have that a studio in, in Somerville, correct? S Somerville, yep, 500 Medford Street in Magoon Square. Now, how, how often are you open? Can, can people just come and see your work? Uh during the week, or yep. how does that work? We have regular hours, 9 to 6, Monday through Friday, and 12 to 5 on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And I have a gallery space, and people are welcome to just come in and look around, and there's always something going on on the bench. Now let's talk. You did bring uh, some of your work with you. Uh, we have it on CD, and we'll talk about some of the images. If you can mm -hmm. go ahead and, and discuss a couple here, we'll, we'll take a look at them. Well, I think the, the uh, sort of the largest window on the CD is a project... Uh, that uh, I finished in July, and that was a restoration for St. Thomas Church in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, that's at the corner of 53rd and 5th, right behind the MoMA. Mm -hmm. And that was the largest uh, stained glass restoration job in the United States. There were nine studios working on it at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, my, uh, I had some help on it, but we restored a 14 by 30 foot window mm -hmm. uh, for that. That was in the traditional Gothic style. Um, I think on the CD there is a picture of the La Harvard Lampoon window so that mm -hmm. you could uh, definitely see that. Um, and, what, and what's going on there with that window? What do we see there? Um, that's a, um, it's a three-section window, and it was designed by a guy named Michael Frith, who um, was an art designer for Sesame Street and the Muppets. <laughs> and he's also an alum of the Harvard Lampoon, which is a satirical magazine. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that they were actually the route for National Lampoon, that all the National Lampoon movies... Um, that was uh, where it all uh, the founders of that came from. Mm -hmm. But uh, <clears throat> the Lampoon has all this sort of crazy imagery of jesters and ibises, and uh, there's all all sorts of crazy stuff in the uh, in the in the windows. Let's talk about one more of the images. I also do uh, portrait windows. Mm -hmm. I take uh, sometimes uh, a family album, scan a bunch of the photographs, and I I can actually I have a process where I can actually etch that into the surface of the of the glass. Oh wow. So that's kind of a, uh, it's, a, a, it's a pretty unique thing to my studio. Mm -hmm. and the things that, that my studio does that most other stained glass artists don't do are, is this photo image um, process, um, also the use of the found glass uh, objects, old serving plates and, mm -hmm. and bowls and things like that. They have a, a completely unique texture than what your traditional stained glass window would be. Now, before we go, you, you <coughs> are in Somerville, but you did come from Arlington, Massachusetts, my hometown. And, uh, and how long were you here in Arlington? Well, I was born in Cambridge, mm -hmm. uh, went to Bishop School, Junior High East, graduated Arlington High in 72. Mm -hmm. And then um, I moved away for a few years, but um, I came back. And when I started my studio in 1989, I actually operated out of my house uh, at 20 Gray Street, uh -huh. 20, 22 Gray Street. Uh, for a couple of years before moving my studio down to Cambridge, and then eventually I ended up over in over in Somerville. But hey, I've never lived outside a four mile radius of. You've always Mount been Auburn here. You've grown up. This? You're a New England boy. I know what how to can say. you do? All right, folks. This was Dan Barr. He's our stained glass artist. We'll be right back with our <laughs> comedian Rob Green 
right after this. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. That's all all right? Yeah. Have a little water? Okay. Mm -hmm.